We're here with uh, Michelle Rizzo and uh, John Manuel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, they're here to talk about the French Fest that is happening this week. So um, please yeah. take it away. Tell us, what is French <laughs> Fest? First well, of all, let's start with that. Great. Um, hi, Missoula. Yay. Thanks <laughs> for having us on for the fourth year in a row. Um, French mm -hmm. Festival. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, it's a performing arts festival began in 1947 in Edinburgh, Scotland and incorporated in the 70s and now it's in currently over 250 cities around the world that we know of and it continues to grow. We just um, became members of the Canadian Association of Fringe Festivals this year which um, last year gave $3.2 million in ticket sales back to the artists. 100% awesome. of the ticket sales go back to the artists. And um, that's why it, this platform works. This platform is designed for um, the artists to showcase new and live works on a risk-risk basis. So they pay a registration fee to be part of the festival. We provide the platform and the overall promotion of the festival. And they also have to promote their own piece. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it gets them into the venues uh, at a very low rate. This year, our registration fee was $75. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Well, um, you can tell us uh, what we can expect from this French festival in Missoula. Right, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, well, you can expect to be entertained wildly um, throughout the f five days. We have over 40 events, although we have three cancellations, and I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> um, we have, uh, we're outside the box. We have venues that are on porches. So we put together a porch concert series where um, the performers are on the porches and the audience are on the, uh, the lawns. And then we have an art gallery in the street, and it's connected to the Kettle House Brewery. So there's a beer garden and a food, gar uh, food court. Um, that's on Wednesday. Uh, our, our opening night, you can come and enjoy meeting all the artists who will be here to um, help celebrate and, honor and usher in our, our new um, festival this year. Um, on Thursday, we have a River Fringe where we paired up the performers who are coming here. I wanted them to have an experience um, that is very much Missoula, so um, why not go on the river? So we, we're rafting with Lewis and Clark Trail Adventure. There'll be a performance at the put-in, so the launch at the Sear Bridge. Mm. And then at Fish Creek. Have you been on the Albertson Gorge? Mm -mm. Oh, it's beautiful. No. Come on. Thursday. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, what time on Thursday? <laughs> it starts at 10. It's, okay. You have to go on the, our website to register. It's, you have to pay the Lewis and Clark fee. Yeah. Or else you can bring your own boat. If you have your own boat, join <laughs> us. So the Fish Creek, there are two performances. One that will last for the, re the remainder of the... Um, time on the river and then that evening at Dunrovin Ranch which is also outside the box <laughs> that's in Lolo there are several performances there ending with campfire stories told by um, Captain Clark and um, uh, mountain man Rick Hawkhurst there's also um, wonderful horse painting I love Suzanne Miller if you ever get to, to ch a chance to um, interview her mm -hmm. please do she's a lovely lady next year we're gonna be doing um, E uh, uh, equine fringe arts extravaganza nice. at her place. So, um, what else can I tell you? Friday, we have traditional theater and also, oh, I should get back up at Thursday, there's a um, documentary titled On the Fringe, and you can really, under after seeing this um, documentary, 90 minutes, um, mm -hmm. you'll have a grasp of the um, the community that supports Fringe and 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 this he's part of the <laughs> yeah, community so right here. <laughs> John, John, yes. tell us about yourself. Like, so you have got experience with the Fringe Festival in Canada. Yes. And so tell us about that experience. Well, I've attended the Montreal Fringe, mm -hmm. and I've volunteered for several years at the Vancouver Fringe, and both of those fringes are mature. They've been thirty years or more. Uh, they have hundreds of performances, um, artists from all over. But I was particularly happy to come down to Missoula because it's very interesting to see a French like beginning and growing. And Michelle has done this amazing thing because it's different than the mature fringes. The mature fringes, they provide a place for artists to who are on the fringe. They're not mainstream to get a start, to get exposure, uh, to build an audience. But they're the mature, whereas a beginning uh, fringe like this, Michelle has brought these things together, which are different, like porch fringe, I haven't seen anything like that before, that incorporate elements that are particularly local and regional, like the ranch, um, the uh, the Albertan um, Canyon thing, the slow float and sing-along. Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that in any other festival. And these festivals, like all other festivals, provided 
not just for entertainment for the uh, residents, but also they attract visitors. Mm -hmm. And I think a fringe which incorporates particularly uh, local flavor and, and events hap that don't happen at other fringes is great. And I'd like to see it grow. And it's, you know, I really enjoy being a part of it, even a small part. That's one yeah. awesome thing about Montana is that we have so many different like venues to do things. Mm -hmm. Like it ranges yeah. on the river, mm -hmm. like in the mountains. So it's kind of just like getting yeah. over there. And it's definitely nice to get a different perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, like you said, it's yeah. like, oh, I didn't think about it, about it that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe we yeah. can try it at our fringe as well. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> Michelle is very imaginative and creating and bringing in the incorporating these elements that I haven't seen elsewhere and they look like they could be a lot of fun like there is in addition to the uh, the rafting on the river um, there's also a slow float sing-along yeah. which sounds just like goofy fun and I like goofy fun so like why not? Me too. Yeah. That's yeah. Friday. So, and yeah. we have a shuttle bus, but there's a band from Duluth, Minnesota that'll be joining us at the Big Dipper Ice Cream from noon until one. Mm -hmm. At one o'clock, the shuttle arrives. It's three dollar fee to take you to the Puddin, and at East Missoula, it's an hour and a half float. Afterwards, we have a series of um, traditional theater, and and you'll meet Sean in a few minutes, mm -hmm. and he'll tell you about his performance. Mm -hmm. um, no refund. And then uh, there's um, also the the, the Fringe Lounge Sessions, which you two will be participating in, mm -hmm. um, where we are, uh, we have several bands, and D. Ryan is um, flying his band in, he can mm -hmm. tell you about that next, mm -hmm. and um, we have the Fringe Lounge Sessions where we are interviewing the artists, it's like one of the biggest um, draws for artists to come to Missoula is basically they're guaranteed, almost, yeah. to have coverage by the media, which is really important for when they go on to the next Fringe, that they have something to as a media kit to Definitely. share, so that's... And MCAT's yeah. Is super happy thank to be a you. part of it, and yeah, we we so love much. our artists and we love the fringe. Yes. So, so yeah. we're we're about almost out of time. Uh, let's uh, let's kind of bring it back to what you guys are doing for your kickoff events and yeah. tell us when and where people can um, start with you guys. Okay, tomorrow night at the Crystal Theater, starting at six, I think. Gosh, I'm supposed to put all this in my memory. <laughs> I forget. Go online. Our online. Um, our online calendar is accurate, thank you. Um, however, um, I would not go anywhere else for accuracy. <laughs> the calendar is, if you scroll up, you'll see right there, the top, tippy top. No, other, keep going, keep going. There, right here, Show, shows and festivals. And, um, and that'll give you the up updated version. So we start with a, um, there's, when you walk into the Crystal, there'll be a performance already happening. We have a cameo appearance of, by our Mayor Angin and the, the gentleman we love to love. And um, then we have a blessing, because I, I, really, I really want the fringe to be a blessing for all. So I've invited um, area spiritual leaders and we have a Salish, uh, uh, traditional dancer who will be singing a song a blessing for us and followed by a word from our sponsors and I love our sponsors thank you so much <laughs> every year we have the, um, this array of wonderful sponsors including my family my husband is the graphic designer and uh, <laughs> much to his dismay sometimes <laughs> but I think he did an excellent job on our uh, artwork this year and right. um, followed by all of our sponsors please go to our sponsor page and see who they are awesome. all right yeah. can i add one no quick yeah, note of one of the things with fringes is because artists are often not known as starting careers uh people sometimes are a bit leery about trying something like that uh fringes are traditionally very inexpensive and half the events are free mm -hmm. so and the events that aren't free are very inexpensive so if you want to try something different it's an excellent opportunity yeah yeah i agree yeah. and, and any fifteen dollars or less yeah any chance to see artwork that isn't exactly like local or even any art at all yeah, yeah definitely well, we have a fifteen dollar I mean, you will never yeah. find this anywhere else uh, a, a friend of mine jan Beatty, from um, she teaches violin at, in D delaware delaware mm -hmm. and she uh, teaches alexander technique and you will never ever find $15 an hour at uh, $15 for two hours of Alexander technique workshop no. that's on Saturday yeah okay awesome yeah thank, thank you very much you guys thank and so you. they can go to their website you guys can go to their website to check out uh, the full schedule and events well 